I was, I was wondering if you could tell us what is Evander Kane's current status? Yeah, well, um, you know, I think he has one last uh, hurdle to cross. I haven't talked with the medical department here, but everybody's hopeful, and uh, we'll see where where he's at after he does. So game time decision, I guess? Yeah. See if he's available? Exactly. Okay. You could be up here, Reed. You could be given... Oh, yeah, someday, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you've, you've seen Seattle a couple times, uh, and they just... They had an incredible run uh, come to an end. Obviously, the, the two games you had played against them, you guys kind of pulled away in one. They sort of, I thought, pulled away in the other one. In terms of the way they're attacking and scoring a lot of goals, what are some of the challenges they're presenting there? Well, I would disagree with you there, first of all. I, I would think uh, maybe in the first one in their building, uh, we built uh, that early lead and, and uh, sailed from there. But in the second game, well, I think we were up 2 nothing. Uh, so I didn't think anything got away on us there. I thought we fell asleep for um, maybe eight minutes or so in the second period, and that hurt us. I think in order to beat this team, you have to have everybody going, and uh, you have to have a level of execution and in, and intensity about you for a full 60 minutes and I thought that's where we came up short at home versus them um, you know obviously you don't win the amount of games they've won on on the road in a row without doing some good things they beat some good teams here I think they have balance to their group I think uh, they can score goals um, they've been getting good goaltending here especially on this streak um, you know they're a good team and they're going to push us in ways um, that, as I said, we need everybody going. We can't have any passengers tonight, and we need everybody going for the full 60 minutes. Wondering about Kyler Yamamoto and maybe also Ryan Murray. Uh, is it looking like it's going to be a little longer for these players, or do you have an update today on that? Yeah, I think uh, Kyler specifically has a, uh, something, uh, an appointment today, uh, but I, I would agree with you. Um, you know, I don't think it's uh, it's it's not. I don't think it's going to be day to day for either one of those two. Uh, Connor was talking about Evander Kane's presence in the locker room in particular, and talked about the spark that he can provide, kind of in that room. What have you seen in terms of the the personality that he brings to the group, and what that can add? Yeah, he comes to the rink every day with juice. Uh, he comes to the rink uh, with a passion for the game and his teammates. Um, you know, he's been traveling with us for quite some time because he likes being around our group um, and he provides energy uh, and he wanted to stay keep his mind sharp as well as keeping his body sharp while he's been out but keep his mind sharp um, I think uh, you know some people uh, only lead from the throat um, but I think when uh, the good part about Evander is that he backs it up with his play too he shows up every uh, every game he works um, he's a very detailed hockey player uh, he's got a lot of good habits in his game and um, you know he's he's someone that I, like I, I said at the start of that answer he brings juice he you know he's in the building uh, he's not just someone who kind of melds into the background he he's uh, he's a good teammate and a valued uh, player in our organization you guys have been trying to get your home game together for some time. Mm -hmm. The fact you're coming off three very solid road games, uh, the fact you've got a you know, a team in here that's right in front of you in the standings, uh, is this a good recipe for some muscle memory maybe to kick in and take that road game home here? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Um, you know, uh, this team that we're playing, this is the third time we've played them in essentially three weeks. Um, they know what we like to do. We know what they like to do. We know what their strengths are. Uh, we know where we, you know, want to put certain points of emphasis in the game. Um, whether we play this in Seattle or Edmonton or Hudson Bay, it doesn't matter. We have to bring our level of um, execution and a level of intensity about us in order to beat this team. They're directly in front of us in the standings. We understand um, for us to, to make some headway here, we have to start doing, um, you're putting more and more games together. And one of the areas of emphasis for us is to improve our home record that starts tonight.
Yeah, and Jack Campbell, uh, this game's been coming along here. A nice opportunity for him to play an important game at home here and, and, you know, maybe get into his second half with the game he's been searching for for the whole first half. Yeah, um, I actually think since post-Christmas his game is really come um, he's worked at it when so I've been happy with that I said this the other day too that um, in in two games post Christmas where Stewart has started Jack has come into those games midpoint and given us some really good minutes and I thought that he's been able to carry that over into his next start um, he's putting something together and um, you know he's going to be a big big factor in our second half of the season we believe we have two real good goaltenders we think it's a good tandem um, and uh, for us to get to where we want to get to he's going to have to continue uh, to help us get there Jay when it comes to Evander if and when he plays um, I know he's he's been skating a lot um, but they always talk about game shape and just being ready is that something you monitor or do you kind of leave it up to him to say how much you can go and how do you kind of work his way back into well, the regular line first of all happy birthday thank you, <laughs> thank you very much um, I would say I would say that if it was up to Evander he'd want to play 30 minutes yeah. in his first game yeah. <laughs> that's just how he's wired um, you know I think the the one aspect of hurting that part of his body is that over the last two and a half months or 11 weeks or however many weeks it's been, um, he's been able to heal but work at other parts of his body. Uh, so he's in elite shape. He, he, he's an elite talent. Um, um, but over these last two and a half months, he's been able to... Um, really work at different things. It's been a, it's a different way uh, for him to get ready. Uh, he's done a lot of skating. He's done a lot of um, uh, you know things in the weight room, and he's had to hit some benchmarks along the way in order to get cleared uh, eventually. And so he's hit those. He's a quick healer. Um, if and when he's ready to play, he's, he, he wants to be let out of that gate. He, I think he's sick of, uh, of the weight room and, and, and practicing. He, he's a hockey player first and foremost. So he, he's chomping at the bit to get out there. And as I said, if it was up to him, he'd want to play 30 minutes. How many minutes will you play? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be in the lineup yet or not, Ryan. Nice try. Thanks, Jay.